children and have to give birth to children, she is stigmatized. Never the man, always the woman. And that's awful for them. That's the first thing. The second thing is, even in Germany, where we say we are relatively an advanced country, the stigmatization is there. So it's not only in Africa. It's probably much worse here because you are living in far more traditional societies. Still. Yeah. So what can we do? See, when we uh, designed our Africa strategy at Merck in uh, 2012, we started. So we said, look, we really have to go to Africa. Yeah. We have been here before, of course, in Northern Africa, we have been in Southern Africa. Uh, but in West and uh, East Africa, we haven't been. We said we have to go there. Of course, we are a commercial company, that's not a secret. But on the other hand, because we've got the financial means, we can do a lot of things. So it's one stone after another, it was a capacity, capacity advancement program, and of course, uh, and now work more than a month of progress, and many more will follow us. It's about cancer, it's about diabetes, it's about infer infertility. And to do this, uh, we have to work on a second floor closely together with the governments. Yeah. But at the end of it, yeah, all we can do is teach, to give advice to women, to teach, to try to overcome culture. And I'll tell you what, to change in culture is a harder thing to do. It takes a lot of effort from all. It has to come from top down, but it has to come from the bottom as well. And if you see this really very hard moving uh, testimonies yeah, uh, of all efforts, also yours. Uh, it's something we really have to, to tackle in a very positive way, but we have to work on it and we have to be aware of the fact that that will not be over in half a year's time or a year's time. It's something we have to work on probably a decade, if not even a generation. The best way to do it is by giving an example, by giving testimony, uh, by governments to help. And I remember one discussion I had some one and a half two years ago with a German minister, because she was a junior minister, but still the minister. Uh, about exactly this problem of the uh, refunding of treatment of infertility in Germany. And she said to me, uh, oh, infertility is not an illness, why should we refund it? But you see, even, even in those levels, there's no acknowledgement of it. So it's hard work, it's an uphill struggle. Uh, I think it's a very worthwhile cause to take on. Uh, as I said many times before, we need the help of the governments, we need the help of NGOs, we need the help of women uh, to, to come forward and speak up and to try to change it. You can't say anything else to it. It's not easy. But we will succeed in the end.